This new study is making the round, suggesting that the recommended dietary allowance of 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is not enough for vegans. First off, I've suggested for quite a while that aiming higher than the RDA is actually ideal for not just vegans, but meat eaters as well. But let's discuss this study. 17 minimally active men who had been vegan for an average of 7 years completed the study. They were provided with meals to maintain calorie balance while getting 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight for 5 days. During that time, they were told to refrain from any moderate to vigorous physical activity and they collected urine on the final day to measure nitrogen losses. That's because protein contains nitrogen, so you can estimate if somebody's taking in more protein than they're losing by measuring nitrogen balance. 14 of the 17 participants had negative nitrogen balance, suggesting that they were losing more than they were taking in. This would suggest that just meeting the RDA for protein isn't enough for vegans. However, it's worth noting that the calculation they used may actually underestimate the protein nitrogen intake from plant foods. As such, I'd like to see a longer term study that measures actual changes in muscle mass compared to omnivores, both with and without exercise, as well as a study on females, as this one only included males. Nonetheless, I don't see this as a big concern because we've known for a while that consuming more protein in the ballpark of 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is probably ideal, even for meat eaters. And when hitting 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, we don't see any significant differences in muscle or strength gains between vegans and meat eaters anyway.